everyone, this is Riley with Diesel Laptops. Today I'll be doing a quick overview of our bypass breakout cable. Now there's going to be two main components when it comes to these breakout cables. The first is going to be this main breakout cable here, and the second is going to be the cable that plugs directly into the ECM. Let's start by first discussing this main breakout cable here. Now what this is going to do is hook into a power supply, so you have power to your ECM and your diagnostic port. And it's also going to have an other end with the adapter that can plug into the other cables that go into the ECN. There's going to be two main advantages to using a breakout cable as opposed to hooking directly into the 9-pin or 6-pin port directly in your dash. The first is going to be that every OEM recommends that you plug directly into the ECM when doing any kind of reprogramming. The second is going to be if the 9 or 6-pin in your dash has any kind of fault in it or any kind of disconnect in the wiring, you won't be able to hook into the ECM. So this allows you to have a direct access to the ECM. Another advantage to discuss is going to be the benefit of having our two-piece cables as opposed to the OEM one-piece cable. As you'll see with the OEM cable shown on screen, it's only a one-piece cable. You'll see the block hooked into the ECM all the way out to the power supply and 9-pin port at the end of the cable. Now something like this would cost you $600 to $800 per ECM. And when comparing it to our two-piece cable, you're going to notice that there's a drastic price difference, and ours is going to be much less than the OEM cables without sparing any functionality. I'll show you on screen now how many different variations we have for ECM plugins. If you can imagine how much that would cost you when going with the OEM one-piece cables, you'll see how much money you'll save by going with our two-piece selection. I'll also show you on screen here a quick demonstration of how to plug in to a power supply, and also how to plug in to the 9-pin port. That concludes this quick overview of our bypass breakout cables. Thank you for watching.